So I recorded an entire video um, without realizing that my head was cut off in the screen, so that's really cool. Um, it feels like I got a sneeze. <coughs> so hi everyone, it's Angela, and as you may realize, I have blonde hair and glasses right now. Surprise! Just got um, new glasses because I needed them, so I lost mine. And then um, I've been blonde for about a month now, and I'm working up to getting gray hair. Today I want to talk about something that's a little bit more serious, um, and that is the topic of anxiety. Lately I've been really letting my anxiety get the best of me, and it sucks because, you know, that's I don't like that constant fight. I hate constantly self-doubting myself and constantly being in this state of self-deprecation, telling myself that I'm not going to amount to anything. And um, this past weekend was the first weekend that I had ever opened up to anyone in my family about my anxiety. I'm letting, I've been letting a lot of things keep me from being happy because I keep thinking about where I'm going to be whenever I'm 95 and I'm on my deathbed and I'm so scared that I'm, I'm going to look at the life that I've lived and not feel fulfilled. And I, I'm terrified that I'm making mistakes right now. And I honestly let that, that idea plague me constantly. And I mean, it's, it's very, very detrimental to have this thought process where regardless of whatever you do in life, you, you don't feel like you have enough confidence in your own abilities. I want to pursue a creative field. And I mean, or, in order to do that, I have to get out of Ohio. In order to get out of Ohio, I feel like the only way is to get into grad school in Chicago because I mean, the other two options have failed. I didn't get into those grad school programs, which is okay. It's fine. But um, um, right now, you know, I've got no plans for my grad for grad school as of right now. I've got no plans on where I'm going to live after I graduate. You know, I have no job lined up, and I'm kind of at this point where I don't know where I'm going, and it's it's really terrifying, which has got a lot of personal things that I'm trying to deal with, and I've really let my anxiety get, get a hold of me. And it, it's just, it's really hard sometimes because you want something so badly, but sometimes life doesn't want you to have it that way. And that's okay, but you know, it's, it's hard to pick yourself back up when you're constantly getting a door that says no, slamming in your face. As far as it goes, I, I want everyone else to know that it's okay to have anxiety and, and I just want people to know that regardless of whether or not you're suffering from depression or anxiety or not alone in the situation, that's not defining you and that's not what you should let control your life. You should do what makes you happy. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for how to get rid of anxiety or you know, you've got like a favorite quote or poem or song or whatever, um, let me know in the comments below and just know that you're not alone and um, I'll see you guys next week or sometime soon. Who knows? Alright, bye!